Welcome to FBLA PBL's webinar designed to provide you tips on how you can use professional division members to help your chapter excel. My name is Lisa Smothers. I serve as the membership director for FBLA PBL and I will be introducing today's guest speakers. I will also be serving as moderator when we get to the question and answer session. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We'll go over questions at the end of this presentation. We're delighted to welcome two professional division national officers to this afternoon's presentation. Blake Reynolds, your professional division national president, has a rich FBLA PBL history. He was a former Maine FBLA PBL state officer, has been a professional division member since 2009, where he has also served as the national vice president and he is chairperson of Massachusetts FBLA PBL. Kelly Scholl, your professional division vice president, is a lifelong supporter of FBLA PBL. She was an active FBLA and PBL member, served as an FBLA advisor for 15 years, and currently serves as the North Dakota FBLA PBL state chair. Now I'll turn it over to Blake Reynolds. Thank you, Lisa. FBLA PBL has four divisions, and we like to say that with our organization, you can have a lifetime association by starting in the FBLA middle level and going on to FBLA, PBL, and finally the professional division. There are opportunities to get involved at all levels of FBLA PBL. Your FBLA or PBL chapter is one of the many activities sponsored by your school. You can keep your school's officials and administrators involved in and supportive of the professional division. This will help your chapter maintain great visibility and open new opportunities. So who can join the professional division? Anybody really, from former members, employers, educators, parents, business persons, community supporters, anyone who has an interest in FBLA PBL can become a member of the professional division. Dues are $25 per year, with the exception of California, where it's $30. Every time a person joins the professional division through a chapter, that school gets the credit, and the portion of their dues also go to the state. When a chapter recruits many professional division members, they have a chance to win national recognition, as well as on the state level. So just like the other divisions, professional members also plan their activities around the three words on our crest, service, education, and progress. Professional division members are eager to become involved with your chapter. One example is by being members of an advisory council where they meet with your advisor and officers and offer advice for competitions and activities. They can offer educational opportunities by having resume critique sessions, offer your members tours of their business, or even help by providing job shadow opportunities. Most importantly, they can help advisors and members alike maintain up to date on the most current business trends. Our members can offer your chapter so many things that will enhance a member's experience, whether it be mentoring students for a competitive event such as business plan, creating networking opportunities between students and business leaders, offering career advice, or even providing scholarships and financial support for students to attend state and national leadership conferences. So how do you start? The chapter can offer professional membership to area business leaders, chapter boosters, parents, teachers, and alumni. Here are four tips to get your local chapter started. First, form a professional division membership recruitment committee. Then set realistic goals for your professional membership. How many members do you want? What would you like them to contribute to your chapter? Then discuss and develop a recruitment strategy. And finally, have committee members set up appointments with and make presentations to the individuals and business groups on your list. And now here's Kelly. Thanks, Blake. During FBLA PBL week, which is February 7th through the 13th in 2016, Designate one day as Professional Division Engagement Day. A great day to do this would be on Thursday, which is also designated as Career Awareness Day. So there's a great tie-in between the Professional Division and Career Awareness Day. The Professional Division Engagement Day is designed to encourage chapter members and advisors to connect with professional members and business leaders. 
this is a good opportunity to connect with those business leaders and faculty that your chapter has already recruited into the professional division. It also offers chapters additional ways to recruit new members from the community who can help your chapter, whether it be speaking at a chapter meeting or helping students prepare for state and national competitions. Many chapters offer business leaders who speak at chapter meetings a gift membership in the professional division. State chairs can provide you with a list of professional division members in your area so that you can reach out to them. Some chapters sponsor a networking lunch with business professionals or an after school session with local community leaders. A great chapter event would be to tour the local businesses of one of your professional division or alumni members or to have chapter officers meet with community officials or state legislators. Get ready for competitions by having professional members conduct mock job interview sessions with your chapter competitors for state competition in either the job interview or the future business leader events. Other ideas for chapter projects during this day would be to contact your professional members and business leaders to arrange job shadowing opportunities for your members, host a career day, or create that business advisory council for your chapter that Blake mentioned. This could include bringing in local business leaders to speak to your chapter and provide valuable business insights. Professional Division Engagement Day is a perfect time to sponsor a community service project and to involve your professional members. Perhaps you can return the phone and help them with a business project. Many chapters sponsor workshops and have professional division members review student resumes and provide constructive critiques to the resumes. Why not use those professional members who are actually out in the workforce and know what employers are looking for in employees? Finally, this is a great time to also get your members, professional members, and alumni involved with the community by talking about the benefits of FBLA, PBL, and the chapter successes at a local city at a local city council or school board meeting. The more you get the word out, the more your chapter will gain when they're looking for funding assistance. Great. Thank you, Kelly. So please don't hesitate to contact any of your professional division national officers for advice on how to either connect with or utilize professional division members. We're here to help you and your chapter successfully connect with your professional division. Thanks, Blake and Kelly. Um, okay, it looks like we had a number of questions submitted during the presentation, and we'll start getting to those now. If we run out of time, we'll email you individually to answer any question that we are not able to get to. So it looks like the first question is for Blake. I would like to ask my principal to join the professional division. What are some things that I could tell him that will help convince him to join? That's a great question, and one that we actually get a lot. Um, it actually behooves the principal to become a member of the FBLA professional division as the top administrator at your school to really uh, help them understand what the organization is all about as uh, sometimes they can be a little siloed in their understanding and really they don't see the breadth and the scope of the organization until they attend national conferences and state conferences until they receive publications that we put out, such as Tomorrow's Business Leader and PBL Business Leader, and to really understand uh, the goals of the organization and really uh, the impact that we have on students and its value. Um, so they can also get in involved in uh, workshops at your uh, SLC. They can attend workshops at a National Leadership Conference, which benefits them for the professional workshops that we put on. And they can also be a judge at both national and state conferences. So there are many, many ways, um, not only for them to show their support for the division and the organization, but ways that it would also benefit them. Thanks, Blake. Um, Kelly, as a state advisor and former local advisor, do you have anything that you'd like to add to what Blake talked about? Well, one thing I can say is that um, as a state advisor, at the end of a state leadership conference, I've often had principals and sometimes um, superintendents come up to me and say, you know, I'm really glad that our advisor invited me to come to the conference and to help out because I really didn't have any idea what FBLA was all about and what it was really offering our students. And they often come away with a new recognition, if you will, 
of how important FDLA is to what the students are learning at their schools and in helping to prepare them for careers in business. Okay, the next question is for Kelly. Can you give me two or three ideas for activities that my chapter can plan for Professional Division Engagement Day, uh, Career Awareness Day during FBLA PBL week? Absolutely. Um, one idea that I've seen done very successfully, and particularly because I've been invited to participate in some of these activities, is one school held um, what they called a networking lunch, and it was an opportunity for, they have quite a large professional division membership at their school, and they invited all the professional division members to come to a luncheon at the school, and students were able to put together a program that really thanked them for their involvement, and then they also had one of the professional division members speak at the luncheon. In addition to that, um, I think a great a activity or idea for Professional Division Engagement Day is to maybe have an after school session or a Saturday session where you utilize your professional members to help students prepare for their competitive events as well. They can help them by listening to the, their speeches, um, help them prepare how to answer questions in the job interview competition, listen to their business plan presentations, um, give constructive feedback on emerging business issues or entrepreneurship presentations, that sort of thing. Um, I think the main thing is that you just want to engage your professional members during FBLA PBL week, get them involved in the FBLA PBL week activities that your chapter is planning, and make them feel welcome and make them understand or feel or understand the importance of what they're offering to the students. Thanks so much, Kelly. Those are some great ideas. Here's another question for Blake. Is there any way for us to connect with the professional division national officers electronically or through social media? I know my FBLA chapter members don't know much about the professional division. It would be great to have experts like yourself reach out to them. Another great question. So we are not only uh, integrated into the national website under PV, um, we have a host of resources there in addition to our contact information. And we have both uh, our Facebook and Twitter pages, which we keep pretty active, uh, facebook.com slash professional division, and on Twitter at profession, professional div. And we also have our YouTube page, which is part of the FBLA uh, national YouTube page. And we have our promotional video for the professional division on there, which is a great resource to use when promoting the professional division to potential members. And also, we will have webinars such as this posted on there um, as additional resources. Great. Um, here's another question for Kelly. North Dakota has a large state professional division membership. Why is your state so successful? I'm going to go back to the whole thing about engagement and the chapters in our state who have recruited a large number of professional members engage those professional members. They utilize their expertise in a number of ways. Um, the one chapter who has our large professional division membership numbers has um, pulls in the professional members every year to help their members prepare for competitive events at the state and national conferences. So they're listening to speeches, they're listening to presentations, they are giving feedback on how students can improve their presentations or their speeches. Um, another local chapter advisor was telling me that um, the members, when they decided that they wanted to recruit professional members, the local FBLA members just found it really wasn't that hard because if you just go up to a business professional who supports your school or your community in other ways and ask them to join the professional division, share with them what it's all about, she said they just say yes and it, it really wasn't that hard for them. Um, and she said once we recruited them then we just made sure that we kept them um, involved and in the know on what we were doing so that whenever we could utilize their expertise, they've come and give, given um, workshops, um, presented at meetings, that sort of thing. So it's just going out and asking 
people to join and then making sure you keep them in the loop and engaged with your chapter because they're doing it because they want to help your students. They want to help the FBLA members. And then on the practical side, I would also mention that students are sometimes motivated to go out and recruit professional members because the Business Achievement Awards program now has a requirement for some of the levels that they do have to recruit professional members. And so from a practical standpoint, that's one reason why some students might go out there and do it. And I think it helps in North Dakota because we have a lot of students in our state who participate in the BAAs. Great. Um, you mentioned recognition, Kelly, and you mentioned a little bit about the BAA. Um, can you talk about some other chapter recognition that we may offer on the national level? Chapter recognition for, for the professional members? division? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Sure. Um, at the national conference and at the national fall leadership conferences, chapters that um, have um, the largest um, recruitment of professional members are recognized up on stage at the national conference and the states that have the largest professional division memberships are also recognized on stage at the national conference. And then um, there's also each state can nominate a business person of the year and if they choose to attend the national conference they're recognized on stage as well. Um, and more often than not those business persons of the year are also members of the professional division. Great. Um, so again, there are a lot of chapter opportunities for recognition as well as state opportunities. Um, do we have any other questions? I did want okay, to if not, I, oh, I'm sorry. Sure, last, Blake. Um, on connecting with the professional division and that if, if any uh, members or, or anyone really in general uh, at the schools are uh, still unclear about how to integrate with the professional division or how we can benefit um, your chapter, feel free to reach out to us and we're also available by Google or Skype um, and we can do a presentation to your chapter to kind of give everyone an overview of the professional division and um, we're also available to travel to your state leadership conferences to serve as judges or even workshop presenters so um, the national officer team is definitely available um, to local chapters Great, and I would really encourage you all to take advantage of the social media because you can do so much with technology nowadays and, you know, a presentation to your meeting even through Skype or Google Hangout, it's, it's just great and it's not often that you have experts that can help you and give you suggestions with the professional division. So it would make a great uh, guest speaker even if it's, quote, electronic. So. Um, the last thing I'd like to end with before we officially end is I'd like each of you, starting with Kelly and then Blake, what can you tell us that you've gained from your professional division membership? Well, I think one of the main things I've gained from my membership in the professional division is the satisfaction of knowing that I've helped students um, prepare for competitions and develop their leadership skills. One of the chapters in the city that I live in invites me on a regular basis to attend a competitive events preparation session and I just love listening to the students practice their presentations and to give them feedback. Um, I was able to listen to some students practice their sales presentations last year for instance and um, I gave some feedback to one particular student and then I just happened to know one of the judges in that event at the state conference and I asked her how it went and she was telling me about this young student who took first place at the state and how he talked about this, that and the other thing and I knew it was the student that I had given that feedback to and it just really gives me a sense of satisfaction in knowing that I'm helping students prepare for the futures. Great, Blake, what about you? Um, I, I echo what Lisa, um, Kelly had said and that um, the professional division gives me a unique opportunity and really outlet um, to be able to connect with um, those students uh, in chapters and um, to, we had a resume review at the NFLC, probably have it at the NLC and um, things like that enable us to really give back and help students succeed. Uh, within their schools and out there when they go to get internships and full-time jobs. And um, I'm judged at uh, different state conferences and uh, the students um, come up to you and ask you questions about 
um, an industry that they are interested in and how they get ahead in, in uh, something in business. Um, it really uh, enables me to to provide them with some valuable insight to give them a, an edge up in their careers and uh, just the, the level of satisfaction that um, and appreciation that they show towards me um, really really makes it that much um, that that worthwhile. Yes, having been on both sides, I'd just like to add, um, I'm also a professional member as well as working for the national staff and I can really say that I think that a lot of the professional division, you get your satisfaction from giving back. That is just so true and seeing the students really succeed and, you know, they just, with working with the business people, it just gives them a whole nother level that they're not going to get in the classroom. Also, having been an advisor, I made a really good use of the advisory council, and they used to meet with our um, local officers monthly, and it really helped them keep true to the business trends, and you could also use them, as you both said, for the resources to help pre prepare for the competitive events or tour those businesses because, you know, students, they can learn a lot in the classroom, and that's great, but, you know, FBLA is so great about it, it gives them beyond the classroom the experience that they're not going to get because, Students are visual learners. We all are. So I, I think that that's something really great about the professional division is the support and the giving back. Blake or Kelly, do you have anything else you want to add before we close? I would just say it really is um, about giving back. I became a professional member because I wanted to give back to the organization because I got so much from my membership in the organization. Yeah, and um, just that we look forward to um, connecting with everyone, both at the um, National Conference and through our social media pages and, um, and through our, e our emails. Great. Um, I'd like to thank each of you for your particip I'm sorry, participation today, a little tongue-tied towards the end here. And Blake and Kelly, thanks again for providing advice and your expertise on everything. Everybody, I ha hope you have a really great week and happy holidays.